What is going on guys, it is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here with a quick tip tutorial on how to better secure your Nintendo account. Now I'm sure a lot of you well know that Nintendo has recently had a few major security breaches in their servers with account passwords and uh, nicknames and usernames and a bunch of information, so um, today I thought I would just show you how to better secure your account. So I am on the Nintendo website, this cannot really be done on the Switch, you cannot change passwords or do the two-step verification process on your Switch, so you're going to have to go to the Nintendo website, sign in to your account, and then once you have signed in, you'll head up to your profile picture, click onto that, and then head down to settings. In here we'll find our basic settings menu, from here we'll go down to sign in and security settings, and there are a few things we can do in here. One of the things you can do to better secure your account is to change your password. A lot of companies will say this, if they've ever had a breach, they will say, hey, change your password. So that's pretty easy, just click edit and just enter your password, and that's as simple as that. But Nintendo has been recommended you not change your password, but enable two-step verification. So we can go down here to the bottom, and I'm going to click on edit, just like on the password setting, and I will click on to this two-step verification setup, and I will submit it to my email address, which is blacked out. But it just says my email address right here, and of course, if it is your email address, you will click on to submit, and it will ask for a verification code from your email to, of course, verify that it is you. So I've received my verification code, I put it in on the last screen, and now Nintendo has verified that I am who I am, and that'll tell us to download the Google Authenticator app. Nintendo essentially uses Google as a third-party service to do the verification for them. Why they can't use their own app for two-step verification, I don't really know, but they use the Google Authenticator app, so download that. It's available on both of the mobile systems, and then in the app, sign in with your Google account and select the Scan a Barcode option. That'll bring up your camera, and you can then scan the barcode on the screen right here, or you can input it manually, but I'm going to do it through the barcode because it is easier for me to do that way. And mine scanned it pretty quickly. Uh, it just gave me the code on the screen and I will add my Nintendo account on the Google Authenticator app. It will add it and now it is currently authenticated. So, and on my phone screen gave me a six digit code that times out relatively quickly just to keep it as secure as possible. So just be sure to input your, your given code as quickly as possible before that timer runs out. It gives you about 20 seconds to do that. So I have my code here, which you cannot see. And, oh, okay, it already is incorrect. Okay, I just inputted the code wrong. This should do it now, and it will take us to this verification screen where, almost like in the PlayStation 4, if you've watched the Tuesday PlayStation 4 verification method, uh, link to that in the top of your screen in the comments. But similar to PlayStation, they also give us a bunch of backup codes, which we can copy to uh, verify our account, which these are also all blurred out, because I need them for myself. So if I were you, I'd just take a picture. You can obviously write them down if you want, but I don't have the time to do that. So I'm just going to take a picture with my phone and I will click on the I have saved the backup codes option right here and I will click OK. And now I have two-step verification on my account. And going through the process, you may have noticed that it is pretty secure with all the options you have to go through, the timeouts, and the numerous codes we have to put in uh, is pretty secure, and uh, I can just say going through the process, I do believe this is the better method to use. Now lastly here, I'm just going to show you these two other options. Change your sign-in ID is basically changing your preferred method of sign-in to your username or an ID you can come up with on the spot. So I'm just going to change it to whatever that is. So it makes it a little bit easier for you to sign in instead of having to put in your whole email. You can just put in your real name or your username or whatever you think will be most secure. Nintendo does give us some on-screen prompts for what they suggest to be the most secure. So just be sure to, once again, write whatever ID you use down. For me, this just sort of complicates the process more, but if you feel that you need that extra layer of security or need something besides your email, then that is an option. So I have uh, selected that. And then lastly, is is you can change your sign-in method. So this gives us the option to uh, change it. And as I said, Nintendo is very thorough. They want us to use another email ID. So if you want to change that, then you're going to, have to put another email ID, which I just did. And then it'll take us to this screen. Select sign-in method. And then I'm just going to use my email or sign-in ID. You can, they recommend you use your sign-in ID only because uh, it's most secure. It's, you're only using it for your Nintendo account, but I'm going to leave it as my email address or sign-in ID because I, most likely forget my sign and ID, so I'm going to leave it 
as my email. So that basically covers it for the methods of signing in, all the methods of security you can use on your Nintendo account. But lastly here, let's just take a look at the sign in history option. So if you want to take a look at your sign in history, if you think that someone signed into your Nintendo account at some point and is maybe using your credit card, PayPal, or whatever, you can view your sign in history here. See if you recognize an unrecognizable device. And if one is unrecognizable to you, then you'll just go down here to sign out of all devices. And that issue should be taken care of. And of course, if you do see that, then do one of the methods I just showed you sign and then change your password. You should definitely change your password if you do see an account on here that you do not recognize. So that about does it. As I said, Nintendo has recently been hacked. Passwords have gotten out about a hundred something thousand passwords, 160,000, I believe. So not a huge amount, but still enough to be wary. Nintendo is, of course, saying that they are fixing the problem or looking into fixing it, whatever. But the best thing you can do right now is to secure your account if you're afraid of it being compromised. Use one of these methods. As I said, two-step verification is the recommended method, but changing your password is always a good idea every few months for any account, even though most of us don't really want to do it. If you are really wary, then that is my recommendation for this, but two-step verification is usually relatively simple. It is not a long process on Nintendo as is with PlayStation, which is usually a lot longer. So yeah, that about does it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, if you found it helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you really enjoy my content, be sure to support me on Patreon for a shout out at the end of one of these videos. And if you have any questions or comments or thoughts or observations, be sure to leave them down below in the comment section. So that about does it. I've been Steven, your Sunday Comrades Guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.